After the first episode, you've seen how to basically make a good start. From there on, we're actually going into the tactics. Because making a start is not about crossing the line at zero. No, there's a lot more involved. Um, for the tactics, we start first go to the tactics of the start and afterwards about the tactics of the reach. Like before, the wind is coming from this direction. I'm gonna draw a starting boat here together with the mark, which creates a line. And here with the same color, we have the first mark. Um, starting uh, tactics are depending each race. Uh, why? Um, there is a lot of different places where you can start. Usually in a PWA race we have 8 people, it can be 20 people, it can be 100 people on the starting line, uh, which is obviously all uh, having influence on where you want to start. But going out from an uh, 8-man start, um, you have advantages and disadvantages um, on all places on the line. If you, start, if you want to start here, at the pin end we call it, it's the shortest way to the first mark, which means it's the fastest way, you would think. Um, but starting here, you have a more downwind approach to the line, which usually generates more speed. So it's basically a balance from a short distance and a better speed. And this is all depending on um, where the first mark is and where the pin end is. Um, also with the swell. If we, for example, have a lot of swell on the line and you want to start at the pin end, you actually have to pass one or two waves to get up to the first mark. While if you come from the boat, you can just use the waves to go downwind and create even more speed. So you might have an advantage at the boat. Um, if it's flat water, we are not uh, having these uh, kind of variables uh, on the first reach. Um, but if we move the mark, for example, from uh, this is a straight line, it's now a touch downwind. In this situation, I would say that it's best to start at the pin end. It's a short distance, and from both points, you're actually going downwind. But the moment the wind direction is changing a little bit and the first mark changes, from a touch downwind to a touch upwind, you can imagine that the guy who will go downwind will be a lot faster than the guy who will go upwind. So from this moment, the favorite starting position is changing to the boat. Um, then we have another thing which can change. We leave the mark this time a bit more upwind, which, which makes this the favorite position. But if the pin end was not here like before, but here. Actually, the guy here is already a couple meters in front from the guy at the boat, which could put the favor at the pin again. Um, like this, it's actually something we are checking all the time. Where's the first mark and where's the pin end? Because the, with, with tides, um, the pin end can be changing. The race director can decide like everyone is starting at the boat, I'm changing the pin a bit more in favor or um, the wind is changing direction and the first mark is actually going up or down. These are all part of the tactics which you actually have to see uh, for yourself the whole time. <laughs>